Hi, I'm Michael Battelle from the Fatty Liver Alliance, and I'm here today with Dr. Manal Abdelmalik. She's a hepatologist and professor of medicine at Duke University and the director of the Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease Research Program at Duke University. And you have a beautiful background behind you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for, for joining me today. And I, I, I guess we can jump right in. And I, I want to start by asking you um, a question about fatty liver in general in the population. And so there's all of these estimates saying that there's about 25%, probably more even, of the population having fatty liver disease. So in North America alone, that's almost 10 million people. How are we ever going to reach that population? And, 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 and how are they going to find out if they even have fatty liver disease? Right. This is a, a very daunting um, issue. Uh, we have almost a, a third of the U.S. population having fatty liver disease. Um, and it's all going to boil down to education, education, education. Uh, we have so much to do to increase awareness of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, but it, it's not so much the fat that, that increases risk. It's really empowering our primary care physicians, our endocrinologists with the right tools that in this vast population of patients, we can really cherry pick out those who are at risk. Um, and, and it's important for our patients to recognize that if you are someone with a family history of cirrhosis, irrespective of how or what was presumed to cause that cirrhosis, um, you have diabetes, you have been told you have elevated liver enzymes or a fatty appearing liver on an ultrasound, um, or certainly if you're over the age of 45 or 50, that you should be inquisitive and you should ask, um, do I have fatty liver disease? Could I be at risk for advanced uh, hepatic fibrosis, liver fibrosis, liver scarring from fatty liver disease? Because it's those patients who have uh, scarring in the liver that are at increased risk for an outcome. Um, and those are the ones that we first and foremost need to find.